Welcome to Other Games TV, and we're gonna check out Shadow Knights Idol RPG. Okay, so right back. Okay, I got the gear. So here it is this awesome and quite interesting Idol RPG game. So don't forget Shadow Knights. Okay, so you're gonna have your main character, and afterwards you're gonna have different kind of shadows. They're gonna have different kind of rarities, and also they are basically you will have three fractions so you'll have the shadow ones you'll have the other ones and you'll have also the other ones right come on i'm kidding okay you're gonna have groups different kind of boosts that you will have and also the races so beast undead and wrath you will be able to start every uh, let's say passive skill for every race don't forget about that you will need some chips but let's go in the gameplay and as you can see it is quite interesting although it's a vertical one definitely you have tons of things to do so you can go raid so here it is we're gonna go on a raid most probably i will not be able to fight this guy so level five i didn't play it too much but definitely it's quite interesting ah uh, fail oh come on that's a cool thing okay so you'll have a lord level also so here it is i'm gonna go on a different kind of thing in order for me to basically pass these five levels and afterwards i will be able to collect more basically passive rewards so more attack more health and more critical damage these are the only three three things that you can upgrade on your main hero so as you can see attack power maximum hp and critical hit so not that hard and afterwards after i will reach level 1000 i will be able to unlock a dark growth over here honestly this ones is also the attack also the hp but with percentage so the first ones as you can see are mainly with uh, simple levels with simple uh, simple stats and the other ones are percentages so definitely this will help me a lot i mean come on quite quite a lot if i'm gonna unlock this thing okay you're gonna have artifacts you're gonna merge them all and that's how we'll be able to collect more and more artifacts that are better and better uh, regarding the artifacts you're gonna be able to get those artifacts from here so dragon contest conquest over here so your main three heroes from your uh, three races the best ones that you're gonna have on each race basically they will come and fight the dragon so this has nothing to do with the main game so you do need to level up every race at least one hero the better one that you think in order for you to uh, fight the dragon and that's how you'll be able to collect better uh, artifacts and that's how you'll be able to get more and more out of those artifacts so over here as you can see different kind of classes okay the skills basically you're gonna get different kind of things by opening chests different kind of stones and you'll be able to start your skills and also unlock new skills as you can see and you can only have up to three skills over here so not that bad but definitely you need to see which is suitable for you okay we talked about the shadows you can smithy them but regarding the smithy you're just gonna go and merge and that's how you'll be able to collect better gears for your shadows over here so what i'm trying to say you're gonna have a collection as you can see only three red ones you will have yellow ones you will have purple ones and you have blue ones and and you will be able to enhance them basically level them up equip them with different kind of gear and also promote them if you have enough shards regarding this specific hero those shards you will get them from different kind of things you will get achievements over here let's go over here and collect so i do need a lot of gemstones basically you uh, in my opinion at least you don't need to put real money in the game at least at the beginning until you're gonna figure out the game due to the fact that you will get awesome awesome rewards at the beginning when you're gonna play so definitely check that out so go for over here in the treasure part at uh, first when you're gonna start and try to get beasts so basically go and unlock different kind of chests in order for you to get the beasts definitely you can go for a specific uh, creature so you can go for the rat you can go for the undead or for the beast but definitely you can open a normal chest in order for you to see your luck but in my opinion check out the, the specific race in order for you to get better and better rewards okay the artifact over here you can watch up to three ads uh, for uh, the artifact and three ads for the skill so that's how you're going to be able to collect the stones for the skill chest and also you're going to get different kind of gears you can put real money in the game as well so not that hard you can have battle passes you can put real cash in order for you to get the, the premium battle pass and so on i'm not going to put real cash in the game at least not for now and you're going to have different kind of tokens that you can buy but hmm, at least not at the beginning don't use your uh, 
let's say chips over here use your chips in order for you to get different kind of advantages okay let's go over here so you're gonna have the rebirth part so the rebirth part basically you're gonna reset your progress you're gonna get these stones so you're gonna get the reincarnation stones and with the reincarnation stones you're gonna be able to basically start up this kind of book so the grimy moors you're gonna be able to level them up and by leveling them up you're gonna be able to collect other other and different kind of um, let's say bonuses okay regarding the leadership over here as you can see plus one leadership the leadership is re uh, basically referring to the shadows that you can summon on the battlefield so as you can see although i have the four main shadows that i can put i can also summon uh, shadows from the enemies that I will kill and basically I will summon them on my part they will have a specific amount of health but they will fight for me so definitely as you can see on the top of the screen I can uh, let's say go in a fight with only five shadows extra besides the main shadows so far more you five more units sorry let's say like that okay you're gonna have uh, the green way as I said over here you're gonna have an aura depending on the level that you're on you're gonna be able to unlock new ones, new ones, and new ones. So definitely check these ones out. These ones out every time you're gonna go further and further in the campaign. You're gonna have the hunting part. So let's go over here in the hunting. Let's enter one over here, and as you can see, hunting siege. So only my main shadows, only my main pets. Basically, these are kind of pets. These guys are gonna go and fight with the dragon, and as you can see, they're gonna bring me some loot. So this dragon offers me uh, basically some gears that i will need for my specific creatures and we're going to check out the, the the other one that is over there i can't remember correctly but i think it's with something like skills or something okay we're going to have auto mode and also the speed of the game don't forget about that definitely this is going to be useful at least the speed and also the auto mode because you're going to just pop up their skills and definitely you will not need to click it that much so it's going to be easier for you don't forget that as i mentioned we're going to have rare ones so common ones rare ones uh, epic ones and legendary and uh, the red ones i forgot what they are exactly let's see so legendary these are the legendary definitely what you want to do is have these three guys so <laughs> most probably the best ones the baddest asses okay ranking over here i didn't play it too much so as you can see i'm quite quite low okay the towers the beast and the different kind of uh, basically towers that you can conquer over here the tower of trial is the simple one and you can put uh, only your uh, four main uh, four uh, creatures and this as you can see you're gonna have three more towers and you're gonna basically fight on a specific race so let's go over here and as you can see i can only put specific races so these ones are the undead and as you can see the fourth slot it's uh, untaken so basically i do need to summon more regarding this race in order for me to get a better hero and so on but as you can see these guys are quite doing a good job so definitely they will go further and further okay so regarding the passive on the right side of the screen over here oops sorry so here passive effect so as you can see i can have gold soul artifact and speed so do watch these ads so you can have up to one hour and a half for each one of them but you do need to stay in the game so what i mean by that is these buffs will only be active when you're gonna have your phone on on the game so they're not gonna go idle so you do need to watch an ad and you cannot watch all the three for gold for example so you can only watch one and after the time expires you're gonna be able to watch the next one the next one definitely watch the ones for the speed gold and soul and even the artifact i mean come on you're definitely gonna need that okay over here in the contest part basically you're gonna receive different kind of artifacts as i mentioned earlier but you can increase over here your conquer reward so definitely use some gemstones over here in order for you to increase your slots due to the fact that you will need them in order for you to gather more items when you're gonna be offline so definitely need to upgrade a bit over here because if i remember correctly at first you're gonna have only eight slots or something so definitely quite low okay mailbox don't forget to check it every time and achievements as i mentioned earlier you're gonna get a lot of gemstones from here so definitely just stay in the game let's go oh, right now in the tower i cannot buy any chests but let's see this one and i will exit this uh, specific dungeon due to the fact that i want to buy something with the gemstones that i have just bought 
so don't forget this is the main the where you have the lower part basically you're just going to be able to upgrade the attack power and maximum hp critical hit artifacts merge them and they will automatically be put on you but what you can do you can level them up but at least in my opinion don't level them up due to the fact that you will consume one specific item so what you do want is you want to be able to get this specific item over here and in order for me to get that specific item i need 15 of a class so i am waiting for two more and afterwards i will be able to get this kind of gear so don't forget about that as well at least at the beginning you can merge them but don't merge them and level them up as well so just merge and wait for it definitely you will have a lot of power in order for you to go further and further okay let's go in the dungeon and let's exit over here yes thank you failed yeah, i failed due to the fact that i got out okay let's go for the treasure so as i mentioned over here you're gonna have shadow chest this is the best thing to consume your uh, basically gemstones at first so definitely go for that i will go over here in order for me to hope to get a new hero from the undead let's see what i'm gonna get a rare one okay okay awesome awesome quite cool okay thank you thanks oh man i had a good luck let's say it like that okay don't forget that you can see every hero that you have summoned and also you can promote them if you're gonna have specific shards so for example this one promote and as you can see i start him up and he's gonna have attack power increased and so on different kind of things okay let's go and see where are you guys okay here it is so let's see your skills increases lower attack range okay and creatures and explosion okay area 130 percent mm, good good that's definitely good this is magic defense for ally undead so definitely he's gonna be really good in the dungeon okay guys until next time take care don't forget to subscribe try this game quite interesting and i do think i have the same kind of gameplay regarding idle death knight if i remember correctly on the channel so definitely check that one out if you're gonna enjoy this one quite quite the same idea in the game but different kind of pets let's say like that so definitely this one as you can see you're gonna have your pets on the battlefield and they will basically help you a lot more than in the idle light part okay guys take care bye